Hey and welcome back to my tutorial about movie making and games. This time it's gonna be about this program, Magoo. I guess it's called like that. But before we're going into this program, you need some. Uh, you need to download some things. One thing is called Avisyn. Um, it allows you to create .avs files, Avisyn script files, and uh, yeah, you just need it. Just download it. No more questions. Um, download the x264 video codec very important one if that's done you obviously are gonna download the Magoo uh, program itself so um, yeah if you did that you can open up your Magoo I guess it should look like this if it doesn't don't cry yet because it will ask you to update to the latest version just a window will pop up the first time you'll uh, you're gonna start the program click on yes uh, update everything possible just don't skip anything maybe some pro uh, some codecs or anything that you're gonna update you you'll never use it maybe but just update everything to make sure uh, nothing goes wrong or um, if you have problems you at least 100% sure know that it's not about uh, your updates so with that said um, we're gonna create our settings for um, yeah, to make it look sexy. So we're going into Convic, the button, click on it, and uh, you want to make a new profile, a new Convic tab. Click on New, put in a name, do something cool. Um, now the settings. I'm not just gonna random all up uh, and, and tell them. I'll just um, put them in the sidebar with some screenshots so you can take them all over. And if if you took over all the all the info, all the settings, just exactly like this. Click on update and click OK. If that's done, now the, the encoder settings should be that profile, whatever you call it. And OK, that's good. Now we want to go into our AV synth script that you need to uh, open here. And I don't think you have it yet. And that's why we downloaded AV synth. And this is the Avisyn script. It's just a um, notepad file, and it should look like this. You can just copy it. It's no problem, except from this. You don't need this at the moment. Um, this isn't important. Crop and convert to blah 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 blah. You don't need that, uh, but you do do need to know what the AV source is or what you need to type in there. And I'll show you now. Um, in our last tutorial we ended at Sony Vegas and we rendered out our clip and it's very big of course and we're gonna make it smaller and ready to watch to put on any site you like so this is our, our rendered uh, Sony Vegas file and we're gonna go going into properties and check where it's located you probably know where it's located otherwise you wouldn't be clicking it but you need to select this the location and copy it, Control C, go into your uh, notepad, the, the, the script, and just copy it in there, then another slash, and then copy the name of the clip, so that is Sony Vegas Render, and put it behind .avi, important one. Okay, so this is how your script is going to look like, if that's done click on save as and we're gonna save it as AV synth Oop. script failure um, save it dot AVS sorry don't forget that very very important save okay that's done there it is it's an AVS file if it's not an AVS file and it's uh, it's um, avsynscript.avs but it's still a text file you're not doing it good then you didn't download um, avsynth the program so do that uh, okay that's cool now we're going back to Magoo and as you can see there's a new one here an avs file open it and it should take some time there it is a video this is our um, video uh, just the middle of it from Sony Vegas you can click that away, you don't need it. And if that's done, then you're almost done. Click on the 
NQ button right here and go to the Q tab on top and three task sh tasks should be waiting in here click the first one click on start and I'm not gonna do that right now but you'll get the thing he's gonna render it all out all three projects or tasks and it will run out as one project um, I don't have an example for you but you have to believe me on this one um, then you're kinda done it's saved as an mp4 file and that's good but the only problem is uh, it didn't render out the audio so for the audio we're gonna use the tools muxer mp4 muxer and we'll let that load okay there it is wait a second it's still doing some tasks okay um, video input obviously we're gonna put in our new mp4 which we don't have at the moment but I think you'll get it uh, audio we're going into Sony Vegas our project and this is our clip that we rendered out and there should be audio in it if you don't have audio oh, I'll shut the fuck up um, render as an mp3 file um, save it however you want. you want of course save should be done in a second and go back into Magoo, into the Muxer. As said, the video input will be here, the MP4 file you just created. And the audio will be in here, which I don't know where I say, I guess. There it is. Okay, then click on Q. I can't click it right now because I don't have any video input in it. But then if you click Q, click cancel and go into the Q tab just where you rendered out your video and there should be one more job or task uh, waiting for the audio it should take about 10 seconds maximum uh, to put the audio into the mp4 file so no problem about that uh, but guys the rendering or the uh, decoding in uh, Megu takes a lot of time really it takes hours, days uh, well, if you go over 20 minutes, movies may, may take a, a week or something like that. Ah, not a week. Anyways, it takes very long, and you need some patience to uh, yeah, get the quality high. And if you um, put the audio in it in the movie, then it's done, I guess. So, um, yeah, I hope uh, the tutorial helped you. And for any questions, leave a comment, um, contact me somewhere. I don't care. Uh, enjoy, guys.